Yo, what's up, everybody? It's Champ here, you know. And I was actually on YouTube watching several vids. And I've seen several vids from Old Prestador not too long ago. And he's basically talking about LeBron James and everything like that. So I want to go ahead and put my two cents into this shit. Mainly because basketball is my baby, man. Basketball is my sport. I've always been into basketball. Basketball is my fucking shit. You know, I, I like football. You know, I watch it occasionally, man. But basketball, you know, everybody has their sports basketball is just my fucking sport my bad for the fucking light and shit let me see if i put it down a little help it out let me see that's probably a little bit better but uh yeah um basketball all right now he, he's pretty much kind of saying that lebron james you know is the best player period you know, period. Um, I happen to disagree with that. I think LeBron James is the best player in the league right now. I definitely think that he's the best player in the league. He's not the best player in the league by a fucking large-ass margin, though. But he is the best player in the league. Uh, now, is he better than Jordan? My personal opinion, no. Nah, he ain't better than fucking Michael Jordan, man. Don't get that shit fucking twisted. All right. And there's two ways that you can you fucking compare them, all right? You got you have the way the league sees it and you have talent because as far as NBA National Basketball Association he's, he he can't fucking touch Jordan. Not even close. Kobe is more in tune with Jordan than fucking LeBron is because LeBron needs like, LeBron needs rings. He doesn't have the shit. He doesn't fucking have it. He's not even close to it. I mean, he, he, he needs to get it. Maybe he'll get it this year. I don't know. He's, he seems like he has a um, pretty decent squad to go go ahead and try to get it this year. I mean, they're doing their fucking thing, man. I mean, LeBron is, you know, he's a beast. Um, but he needs at least two or three rings in order to be it, associated in that fucking you know, in that conversation. Kobe is actually associated in that conversation with Jordan and shit. Uh, I remember um, uh, last championship, you know, when they won, they were saying that, uh, you know, they were saying, okay, now we can start talking about Kobe Bryant and, uh, you know, being on the levels of Michael Jordan and stuff with this, with this ring and stuff like that, yada, yada. But outside of that, when you compare them just talent wise like just straight up talent um i still think it's a hard fucking thing man because like i grew up watching jordan i i watch lebron all the time also i watch kobe all the time but watching michael jordan play is something like honestly man it's fucking magical dog it is something that I just haven't seen yet again. You know, Jordan, when he plays, he's finesse. He's graceful. But at the same time, he will fucking shit on you. And he will make you look like a fucking fool. But LeBron, he'll make you look like a fool. But he's he has no finesse. He's just extremely explosive. And he's a huge body. And he's strong. So if he comes up to the hoop, he's just going to ram it down your fucking throat. And I get that. He's like the barbarian on the fucking court. You know, I get it. And that's why he's a beast. If if LeBron was not as tall as he was and shit like that, he wouldn't be doing it. He couldn't be able to do the things that he does. But being that his stature, the way he is and everything, like, that's, that's him. And, but LeBron is very explosive. But when I watch Jordan... It's like I'm listening to a fucking, fucking Beethoven symphony or something when I'm watching Jordan because it's just fucking, it's, it's beautiful. It's fucking graceful as shit when you see him play, you know, like I was watching, um, the ultimate Jordan. It was like a, like a three or four DVD collection and shit the other day. It's the shit, man. Like Michael Jordan right now is still just untouchable. Do I think LeBron is going to definitely be better at the end of his career, after everything is said and done with LeBron being done playing basketball, 
I do. But at this point, right now, nah, man. I, I don't, I just, I, I don't see it. You know, like, I, I see LeBron dominating games all the time, you know. I, I've seen Jordan dominate so many games also. And this is another thing, man. Honestly, Kobe is better than in the clutch. Kobe is a hell of a lot better in the clutch than LeBron is. I've seen countless amounts of Cavs games. Countless amounts of them. Can you say league pass? But check it out. Um, LeBron. He'll be he'll be in that clutch situation. Sometimes he'll be able to finish. Other times he can never finish. He could never finish. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Come on, LeBron. Like, but you know, I mean, it's it's whatever. I'm not gonna say he just can't finish, but he has trouble finishing. Whereas Kobe, man, he he's he's a beast of the fucking clutch, dog. And that's another thing, man. Never knock out Kobe, dog. Kobe is a beast also. Kobe does his thing. He just does it in a different respect. And the thing is, everybody wants to hold up LeBron all the way up here like a fucking monster. When Kobe used to do the same fucking thing also. He used to do the same damn thing also. You know what I'm saying? It's just that Kobe is just kind of chilled out now. He's kind of done showboating and carrying the team all the time and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? He's got he's he's got a squad that he thinks he can depend on now. And if they start slipping up and it's an important game, he takes over. Uh, but, you know, a lot of people hate on Kobe and everything. Like, honestly, I don't really like Kobe too much myself. But I, I recognize his skill. You know what I'm saying? I recognize his skill and I give him credit and I give him respect. And I give him the just do right and I acknowledge his fucking skill level. Um, but, you know, LeBron is still on what Kobe used to be. He's like, you know, he's got the ball. You know, I'm a shit in your fucking mouth. That's what it is. Uh, but LeBron isn't as heavy as Kobe was, though. You know, uh, LeBron does. is more of a team aspect person. But he still has that little tendency with him. Um, but, oh, another thing. Um, if LeBron was playing back then, like, you know, when Jordan was playing, he would still be dominant. But he, he wouldn't be as dominant as he is nowadays. And the one simple fact is, and this is a fucking fact, majority of the teams nowadays are more geared towards offense. That's a fact. Every single player on the court is more offensively adjusted than defensively. All right. I mean, you're talking about bad day. You're talking about Moses Malone. I mean, David Thompson. Like, you had Beast as centers. Now you got what? Fucking Ilgowskis. Like, get the fuck out of here, dog. Nowadays, you got pussy ass centers. And their, their, their centers are more geared towards. You know what I'm saying? Backing them down and getting that fucking spin shot other than fucking being there as a body and really fucking defending. That is another fucking fact right there. Like, so will LeBron be able to, to do his thing? Yeah, he'd be able to do it in some respects, but he wouldn't be as fucking, as fucking gruesome as it makes him seem nowadays with someone that is really there to fucking defend as centers and power forwards and shit wouldn't fucking happen man wouldn't fucking happen uh another thing um and this is kind of going off topic but i'm just gonna say this is another thing because i think it needs to be said kevin garnett is a fucking beast all right everybody should know this okay that watches basketball I personally think that Kevin Garnett is one of the best players ever to play the game. Period. Period. That's not even a fucking discussion. And one thing that Kevin Garnett, that only one other player in the NBA has really ever had to me, like, Garnett and Alonzo Mourning are the two NBA players that I think had the most love and passion for any sport that I've ever seen. I mean, those two guys, you can literally see it seeping out of their fucking pores. And when you combine that with their talent, man, it's fucking incredible, dog. Man, I know basketball, man, and that's just what it is.